Retroversk. Now Toy Galaxy is shilling Dr. Pepper for Walmart in his latest video. I guess I should have seen the writing on the wall with the big block of Patreon backers at the end. But if you're a subscriber or backer, why wouldn't you put an ad block or drop your pledge after the brother gets a corporate sponsorship? He gets AdSense money, free toy donations, catered to his taste in P.O. Box and given to him at conventions, free Patreon money, and now Walmart slash Dr. Pepper money? I mean, he doesn't seem like an e-backer. Oh, <laughs> From hearing all that, I'm sure he doesn't seem like one. Besides the devilish, oh, I always wanted that thing, but I could never find it or afford it, comments when he knows he has a P.O. box and almost guaranteed some autistic kids will send him five of them after they watch the video. I don't think he's bad. He always seems gracious and spends time on separate videos pouring over and appreciating the things he's given. But it's like, what offer would you turn down, my man? Like, how much money and freebies do you need from this? In the, end, uh, in the end game, to make as much money as you can before the people who brought you up find you repulsive. It's interesting, the last thing you said, the end game. Uh, well, the thing is, the bigger you get on the platform, the less you kind of suffer, the less blowback you tend to suffer. And that's a calculation a lot of these people have made. He's not the only one. Off the top of your head, think about other people maybe with a P.O. box that beg for things. It's the calculation that they make. When you get so popular on the platform, you figure, well, let's say I got five, six, seven hundred thousand subscribers or a million. There might be forty or fifty thousand people that have an issue with what I'm doing, but am I really gonna hurt that much? Am I really gonna hurt that much? Nah. So I would say even if it's fifty fifty, let's say I don't know when the point is, right? Let's say it's fifty fifty, I think they would still go and do it. I think a lot of these people, because they get addicted to, like the silver comment, when is enough enough? You know, that's what the, that's something the uh, silver comment brought up. When is enough enough? I think a lot of these people, um, it's not just the addictions for game collecting, but it's the addictions of free stuff. It's that excitement. Every day is Christmas, Retroverse. Every day is Christmas. These free packages in the mail. Oh, you don't know where they come from? No idea where all these packages come from. Oh, this one's from Texas. This one's from uh, New York. Wow, so many people love me. They send me packages. Oh. So it's not just Toy Galaxy. It's many people. You know, People come by here and they say, Hey, 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 why are you, why are you going to this person? Huh? People come by. Why are you going to Toy, Toy Galaxy, huh? These people are just examples, okay? The video game community, the toy community, the wrestling community. You know, I'm sure there's probably somebody out there that collects wrestling action figures. Oh, they just don't have this Coco Beware. Oh, they're missing this level of a Hulk Hogan. My, oh my, it's so expensive. How am I ever going to get it? You say this person, I hope you were joking when you said this person doesn't seem like an e-beggar besides uh, these certain things. Because this is about clicking almost all the boxes. But I saw that Dr. Pepper ad. You know, that's a first. You know, shilling for Dr. Pepper? Okay. I mean, it. you know, that that's kind of, there's no shame there. I mean, shilling for like, uh, what is it? Uh, you know, what is that thing? Uh, Express VPN or all these different things. Uh, you know, these different things. But Dr. Pepper? You know, I made a joke before that uh, maybe these people should just be like NASCAR drivers and get like a jacket they're wearing during their videos. Actually, that's an idea a lot of these people will probably have. You know, maybe they'll uh, maybe they'll get that. <laughs> how about how about like a ExpressVPN tramp stamp, you know, that they show during the videos? You know, at what level are you going to to shill is what I'm saying. So, yeah, I saw it. And like usual, like a lot of these cases... You know, not bad videos. I like the video. I think a lot of people like Toy Galaxy's videos. Okay? But it's everything else that makes you disgusted. Every single thing else. And I bet if I did some digging into this Toy Galaxy, I would probably find a lot of things, as I do many times. Uh, but people come by, they... I have so many people come by daily like, well, what's your thing, Rick? Well, why? Why, Rick? Why do you speak on these people? I, I say as usual, why don't you... Why don't a lot, I'll put it back on a lot of, a lot of you, a lot of you YouTubers, why don't you, right? 